Mike and I came up this way was to run a race. Um, it's the Alaska Dirt Shootout, right? I think so. Um, it's the Greater Fairbanks Racing Association. Monty Pearson, who's the president, gave us a call this year and said, we'd love to have Mike come up and, and play with the boys on dirt up here in our shootout. It's a big summer series that they do. And that turned into, of course, me going, hmm. I'd like to see more of the interior of Alaska. We did a cruise before and wanted to do it again, but wanted to get off the cruise and do my own interior kind of traveling around, not, not really a tour package. That's why our friends, Chris and Debbie, um, they're adventurers with us and they're like, let's do it. Let's rent a car, do our own tour of the interior of Alaska and make our way up to Fairbanks. Well, a lot of people had said, oh, once you get up to Fairbanks, there's not a lot to do, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm just here to tell you that you need to make sure that you go to Fairbanks. I am very excited about this episode because it's going to show you the dirt track, the racing, all the fun that we had, Victory Lane, which was great, but more important, Fairbanks is about the people. And I am not exaggerating when I say that. Came to uh, Jeans, the official dealership of Life in Alaska, the dealership, and Mike got to meet some people um, that used to race with him and well their dad used to race with Mike and Susanville and brought him a picture of his first race car uh, of he and this guy battling it out in the Susanville fairgrounds so that kicked it off pretty amazing. I used to race with my grandpa. Is he old like me? He's white hair. I'm, I'm close. He just retired in last July. Had a great little Mexican fiesta lunch, quick nap, and then we went out to the racetrack and Mike jumped back out on dirt for the first time in quite some time, actually. Right now we're doing the official spraying of high-powered bug spray because you wouldn't think it, but in Alaska, the freaking mosquitoes are like vampires. They will eat you alive. I would never think that. You think cold weather? No, 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 no. I've sprayed up before night one. Mitchell Speedway, dirt track racing. Here we go. Monty Pearson is the president of the Greater um, Fairbanks Racing Association, and he's the one that gave us the call to come out here. Kenny Wallace did this event last year, and it's a, it's a nonprofit event. The track was actually donated. Um, the property was donated, I think they said back in the 60s. And so they do these fundraisers for children and animal rescues in the Fairbanks community. Uh, first lap in the first heat, he knocked the <laughs> side panel off and the wheel. Did it fly off? This one. So they had to do a little bit of repairing. I'm the rivet girl. This reminds me of my first car, except it was an AMC Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably raced those back in the day. I know. So I should have kept it. He came back, won the first heat race. This is so awesome because this is where I started racing is a place just like this. And it was so much fun. And as you can see by watching me drive, I suck. I, I, I'm, I'm really, really rusty. All I keep doing is banging the car up. But anyway, we're having a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. I feel like I have all these new friends in the grandstands watching these races. These crowds here love dirt racing. I've met a lot of veterans and a lot of active duty service members that are stationed up here. And they love it. They actually want to come back after their three years are up. The people here are the most kindest, sincere, sweet, hardworking Americans I've ever been around in my life. Family definitely comes first for them. It's a community that loves to support one another. I've never been around anything like this in my life. He had not been in dirt in many, many years. In fact, he won three dirt championships in Susanville back in the 70s. A lot of people didn't know that about Mike. So it was pretty cool to get back out on the dirt, uh, get his bearings back, and win a couple races the very first night. That was pretty special. 
but he came back, finished second in the second heat race, and then won the main, which was uh, a lot of fun. Probably more important than the win is what he did after the win. He went into the crowd and picked out this cute little guy. Anyways, gave the little guy the trophy. And I know I get so choked up, but I just love when people are just appreciative of life and they're having fun. And I just love this community. It's so much fun. I can't help I get all choked up, but I'm proud of this community. And it's just been a pleasure to be invited up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you give Fairbanks a try. The people, they are the winners. They are the trophies in Fairbanks, Alaska. Thanks guys.